For today's adventure, you're going to need um, some cord coverings for if you want to put this up a wall, an Arduino, screwdriver in my case, a radar module, SD card, Raspberry Pi, a screen from an old laptop or you know any other monitor, um, one of those boards you can get, get on eBay for like $20 um, so you can interact with this screen, a an old picture frame from Goodwill and a bunch of cables. So I measured out my uh, screen before I went to Goodwill. That way I could get a picture frame that basically fits it pretty well. And yeah, so here's the buttons that come with it. And then I just uh, taped the controller board to the back and it's got a string to hang on the wall. So yeah, this part's basically done. Um, I'll have to connect some things to the power uh, cable soon, but that's about it. Alright, so let's go through the cables. Um, I guess we'll start here at the Arduino. So um, there's two sets of cables going out of this. Uh, the first one goes to the radar module, and so we've got ground and power. And so, yeah, we've got ground and uh, 5 volts. And then um, the middle one, the green, it turns into purple, that's uh, digital, and so that just goes to one of the digital pins, and I'll have to look at it later when I write the Arduino code. And then on the other side, we've got ground and signal, and or digital again, and that goes to the on-off button for the screen, and um, yeah, so I've got it grounded and I've got the signal here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this one up to high and then whenever I want to activate it, I pull it to low temporarily and then high again. And this thing will see it like someone's pushing this button. Okay, so we have the code. Um, basically we've got the out pin that goes out to the button, the in pin that comes in from the radar, um, a value to store the radar information. And uh, I guess other than initializing things, one important thing is that I start out the out pin as high. Um, basically so that it doesn't think that someone's pushing the button when we start out. And so yeah, we start out, we read in the radar, and if the radar value is high, um, then we start a timer and we activate the button. And so um, yeah, we lower it to ground it so it makes it think someone's pushed the button. And then we wait a second and then we let go so it's like, you know, a full press. And then we set the screen state to on so that we know that, hey, we turned on the screen. And then the other condition is we're waiting. So we look at the time now and the time since we started. And that's, if that's above 10 seconds, then, and you know, no one's reset the clock, then that means it's time to turn off the screen. And uh, yeah, and then a little bit of um, just delay so it doesn't go nonstop and uh, some debugging. I have SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi, which is running the radar script. Um, so the first thing you have to do is tell it to, on reboot, um, do all this wacky stuff. Basically, first, um, let it know that you're going to be using the main screen. Sometimes it doesn't understand that correctly when it's running jobs from CronTab. And then the second thing is actually run the script and then, you know, do some error logging just in case. Um, so that's set up. So we go to the script. And um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So it's a nice thing about Selenium WebDriver. Um, so you import some stuff from there and uh, import sleep. So the first thing is I have it sleep for a little bit because this is running on reboot. And uh, sometimes it doesn't like opening windows if it hasn't gotten to the desktop yet. And then I basically just have this script going forever where I open up Chrome I get that particular web page for where I live, and then I have it uh, maximize the window because it doesn't always open up all the way, and then I wait five minutes, and then I close the window, and then I open it up again. And this kind of helps any of those uh, memory leak issues that Chrome might have, um, especially in a Raspberry Pi where it's not having, basically on my system, it would just uh, stop working after like 20 minutes, something like that. So this way, 
yeah, it just restarts over and over. And there you go. running now and I think if I hold still for 10 seconds the radar will stop seeing me and it should turn off there it goes and then if I move in front of it again ta-da perfect